Hey, Tubies! It's Psychic Bob! <laughs> well, look where I am! I'm down at Mom's house. Surprise, surprise. That's why I didn't get out of video earlier. I was traveling today. Here I am in this lush greenery. Oh, I feel so good. I had to put on white today. You know, I felt like I just needed some purification and lightning. I got on my goddess eye, eye of Isis pendant. And I am in harmony. I am so glad you guys are here. Well, we got a little noise because mom's heat pump is running. I hope you can hear me all right. Uh, we just have to work with what we got, you know. Anyways, I'm just glad you're here. I want to say thank you. Thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video. We had horoscopes. That's right. We covered all 12 zodiac signs, all the major transits. It was a, it was a lot of information. It was a really good uh, video, I think. And people seem to be saying how much they enjoyed it. So if you didn't see that, you need to go check that out and get your video. That's right. Get your horoscope. See what's going on for the week. Great way to get some psychic help. Well, talking about psychic help, we're going to do some more psychic help. Here we are. It's Tuesday, and that means it's time for messages from the spirit world. That's right. Now, for those uh, people who are new here, by the way, welcome to the newbies. I'm so glad you're here. Glad you're part of Spirit Channel. If you've been watching and you haven't subscribed, you might want to hit subscribe. Be part of our channel. Okay. It's free to be part of Spirit Channel and YouTube doesn't cost anything. And you'll get updates and you'll be part of our scene here. But I'm so glad you're here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do little readings. Uh, I'm a full-time professional psychic medium, for those of you who don't know that. I work every day as a psychic, full-time. I love it. I love to help people. And I come here to YouTube, you know, just to kind of share my abilities and my gifts. And, you know, I do all my YouTube work for free. I do not charge for my readings here. They're absolutely free. Uh, now, I have to tell you guys, I get hundreds of letters a week, so it's hard for me right now to personally write everybody so if you've written to me and you haven't heard from me please understand i'm not trying to be mean i just am a little overwhelmed because on top of all the youtube letters i still have people calling to book sessions and then in between that i've got appearances to make it's like about as busy guy but i do love you guys and i appreciate your understanding and your patience so we're going to look at some letters today uh if you want to be on messages from the spirit world all you got to do is Write your psychic question. You can write it. You know, I just try to limit it to one question if you can, please, uh, in the comment box below this video. Or if you don't want to do that, you want to write to me personally, you can write to me at my email, readings at robert-hickman.com, a little hyphen between robert and hickman.com. That link is below. And if you're interested in getting on my schedule for private reading, go to my website and study more about my work there as well at reading, excuse me, www.robert-hickman.com. Again, that link will be below for my website. Anyways, I'd love to hear from you. If you want to get on my schedule, call ahead um, and, and we'll get you on the schedule, okay? I'm so glad you're here. You guys rock. Well, we're going to look at letters that people have sent to me and we're going to see what the spirit world has. But before we do all that, let's just take a moment. I want everybody to center themselves today. It's always good just to center yourselves. This is, if you do nothing else today, just doing this is going to help you. Just close your eyes with me for a minute. And let go of all the tensions of the day. Just follow your breathing. And if you can, visualize yourself surrounded by beautiful, glowing white light. Just bask in that light with me for a moment. Very good. And when you're ready, all you got to do is just gently open your eyes and you'll be back and you're going to be balanced and refreshed. I'm so glad you're here. Well, this is wonderful. Well, we're going to jump into our letters. Oh, I hear you back here. My spirit guy, Fletcher, just had to chime in. He says, don't forget I'm back here. Yes. You know, honestly, I do everything through my spirit guy. He's wonderful. His name is Fletcher, so he says hello to all of you. <laughs> He didn't ever let me off the hook. All right. Our first letter today is from Saren. And Saren writes this. Uh, Dear Psyche Bob, do you have any message relating to romance for me? I've been hiding for so long, but I think it's time. Blessed be. Hi, Saren. 
You know, I have to talk, tell you, when I step into your energy, I get around you a lot of wonderful orange light, and I get bright, clear pink light. These are perfect colors in your energy now for drawing people into your sphere. I actually see the next two months, June and July, is a lot of social activity around you. I feel you are going to have more friends initially. Uh, don't let that upset you because I'm getting a lot of social activity. I want you to attend anything you're invited to. Uh, you might even get invited to things you think, I don't even know these people. Go ahead and go, okay? Because you've got a lot of attracting energy. That orange light means friendship. It means a lot of creative inspiration and really mixing with people. That beautiful pink light comes just a little later, and I want you to watch August. August is where you're really moving in the pink light. That means that emotionally you're really ready to start to connect on a romantic level. And I feel there is going to be somebody entering your life uh, around, it looks like it'll be August, beginning to the mid part of August here. And I feel that's where you're going to start to enter into a relationship. And I feel like it's going to be somebody, I keep getting a person connected to this. Um, I'm getting the name, it sounds like Lynn, it's like an L name, Lynn. Uh, blonde hair, very striking. The thing I love is their eyes. They may actually be a Leo, but I keep seeing a connection. I feel like it's at a pool party. I don't know if you have anybody, friends that have a pool, but somebody's having a gathering. I keep seeing water. I feel it's a pool party, and it looks like it's around all this, where there's a connection. And I feel this is going to go into a long-term committed relationship. So I feel you, you know, you're sensing your energy. When you just said, I've been hiding for so long, but I think it's time. I have to agree. And energetically, the aura shows that. You know, I always say the aura never lies. Uh, because if you didn't have that energy, I'd say, hmm, might be some challenges. But actually, you're in a very powerful place now. It's a very clear, bright light. You're ready to move forward. Watch August, okay? Thanks for writing. Blessings to you. All right. Uh, our next letter. I am Lord Razio. Hi, Lord Razio. Good to see you. Lord Razio says, Hi, Psychic Bob. Love your vids as always. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks for being here. Um, ho uh, hoping you can see if my photography work will take off anytime soon. I have a Facebook photo photography page and it's starting to climb. Thanks again, Psychic Bob. You know, Lord Razio, um, don't hate me for this. I do see it taking off, but it's not going to be till September. Uh, I keep getting, you know, I think this summer what you're going to have is people, and try to understand this, don't get dis distressed by this. I keep seeing people call you and then they're not committing. And so one of the things I want you to really work on, maybe you've already done this, but I keep you want to think about putting together package deals because I feel like where I'm picking up a challenge right now is that people don't know what they want. And so they'll call and say, well, can you do photography? What can you do? I don't know. And I want you to have very precise kind of packages and tell them what they want. I feel that's going to be an important part of your marketing right now. Uh, I keep seeing September forward is where it starts to take off. So I'll be honest with you, summer's going to be a little slow. Don't let that distress you. Uh, I am getting like one wedding coming, and I think that'll be around uh, July or August. So it looks like you're going to get a wedding opportunity. But I'm getting a lot of portraiture work. And interestingly, I want you to focus on corporate photography, like photographing like buildings or executives or like meetings, like where they want shots of like gatherings. I see corporate photography here around you. And I feel literally from September forward, things start to take off. You're interestingly gonna find that you end up getting more work because you're probably from the corporate side than, than just the um, individual clients. Uh, I don't know if you do headshots, but I think you should explore that as well because I keep feeling like there are people in the, the film industry or acting industry who need some of this, the work you do. So I would focus more corporate and then like headshots, artistic. Okay, that's where I see you going. But September from September to the end of the year is gonna be a good time for you, okay? So patience, you're on your right path. Thanks for writing. Thanks for being here. All right, our next letter is from Mark Wilhelm. Mark's a longtime regular viewer here. Hi Mark, thanks for writing. Uh, and Mark writes this says, Dear Psychic Bob, I just want to know if I will see my best friend anytime soon. His name is Wayne. We have lost one contact with one another. 
please let me know your friend Mark Wilhelm. Hi Mark. Um, you know, I do feel that you're going to make a connection, but I feel you're going to have to be the one to initiate it. Uh, I get the sense that he's moved. I'm getting like a little physical distance here around this. And I'm not sure exactly if he's in one or both of these states, but I'm being shown the state of Connecticut around this, as if he lives in Connecticut or has lived in Connecticut. I'm also being shown further Midwest, like Illinois area. And so I feel like he's between both of these states or has lived in both of these. And I feel that you might have to do some research. Um, you may have to get a private investigator. But I would start with a search in Connecticut first and then Illinois for him. I feel that he has connections to both of these states. And if he's not living there currently, he does have some connection, either friends that are mutual or business contacts there. So there seems to be some connection that I picked up between both of these states that um, that he has a connection to, and that will that should lead you to him. Okay. Uh, in terms of timing, I keep getting this more towards autumn around October. So you can start now, um, and I think you actually find him before October. But I feel like around October is where you really connect and are able to talk and set up a, a meeting. So he's not gone. He's still alive. He's just uh, in a different place. Okay. Hope that helps. Thanks for writing. All right. Our next letter, MCR. MCR writes, Hi, Psychic Bob. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> you guys are going to love this. Hi, Psychic Bob. A CVS store recently opened near my house. Should I move? <laughs> yes, get out. It's a curse. You will be cursed. <laughs> this is brilliant. Should you move? CVS near you? Yes, please. Trust me. I'm a psychic. I know. And he writes just that. MC ever says, just kidding. Um, I'm wondering if Spirit has any messages about my career path. Thanks for being here. You know, MCR, I got to tell you, as I'm walking into your frequency, I'm being hit with a shining blue light, very bright, brilliant, clear blue. This tells me that you have gifts of communication. And I would like you to focus on work that allows greater communications for you. I feel like you've been in a holding pattern here. Uh, like literally like for the last year and trying to get this worked out but it's because your gift is your your gift is in communications I think you should look towards and this might sound a little strange today but I keep seeing you connected to media work I think you would be very good in film industry or television particularly like creative design of TV shows creating you know creating writing production kind of making things come together, developing marketing media. This is what I keep picking around you. And that might sound just a little strange, but if you meditate on that, I think you'll find that there's a lot of truth there and that you really would find um, a lot of success in that area. And you might even say, well, Bob, I have a different uh, degree than that. It doesn't matter. Just focus on it. Uh, you may have to take some classes, but I feel like energetically, it's just like you're in the flow of communications. So you want to really think about, you could do radio or television or film, any of those. Uh, I think you'd be very good. You'd actually also be good in the area of like advertising, like designing ad campaigns, marketing, PR, any of that. So think media, think PR, think advertising. That's where I'd put the focus and I think you'd do really well in those areas. Okay. I hope that helps. Thanks for writing. And, and please don't go near CBS, please. I beg you. Thanks for writing. <laughs> All right. Our next letter is from David Simon. Hi, David. David writes, says, Dear Bob, can I get a free reading, please? Capital please. Well, David, thank you for, for asking. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your enthusiasm. Um, I'm honored to give you a reading. And let me tell you, David, as I'm walking right now into your light, it's interesting because I'm getting um, a little bit of light around you that feels like gray granite, you know, like the stone. And what that tells me is that energetically you have really been kind of literally under a lot of pressure the last few months. 
It's like you're trying to move forward, but it's like there's literally walls blocking you. Don't let this scare you because I do see transition. I want you to watch. It looks like it's around the month of August here that some doorways are going to open around you. I feel there's some career opportunities coming for you. And what's interesting, my spirit guide's back here, and he's got a pen and books, and he's writing like in college notebooks. So there may be some education here coming for you this year. I feel like you may be doing some career transition. And uh, I feel that you have a lot of talent. Interestingly, similar to MCR, I get a lot of blue light around you, a lot of orange light. These are the creative lights. Uh, blue is definitely communicator color. I think that's one of your themes. I also get orange, which I feel is creative, artistic light. So you want to kind of break out of the corporate world. I don't think working in the corporate world is going to bring you long-term satisfaction. Would you be successful? Yes, I think you're very talented. But I'll tell you, if you want to do corporate work, you've got to build your own company because I don't feel like for you, working for others is necessarily going to be the best thing. I feel you have a lot more independent energy and a lot of creative power. So, you know, employ your artistic theme, maybe start your own art gallery, start your own, you know, um, you know, painting or sculpting, start creating for people. Communicator means definitely you'd be very good in communications. I think you should start a YouTube channel if you don't have one. Well, you actually have one since you wrote to me, but I haven't looked at it. So I never look at anybody before I read because I don't want it to cloud my judgment. But I feel like you have a lot of gifts that need to be brought out even more. Okay, so I want to encourage you to really push on the artistic side and the communication side. That is really going to bring a lot of blessings to you. And I feel like 2018, you know, is going to really step that up. And I think by December of this year, you'd be saying, wow, I'm really glad I pushed forward. I'm glad I got some extra training. You know, as I said, there's some education that I pick up in this. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to take a full-on degree. It could be just taking some certifications or some classes, like, for example, learning how to do studio lighting so you can start doing videos, you know. Be open to learning. Definitely some classes here, okay? And it's going to push you in a very creative direction, okay? I also pick up around you an angel here. And I keep hearing the name. It sounds like Marion, but it's a male, M-A-R-I-O and Marion. And Marion is, is one of your spirit guides, guardian angel. And I hear Marion, it's funny, Marion's in the background here, and I'm hearing him singing like jazz songs, like from the 1920s and 30s. And he said, he said, I'm having a party because David's moving on into glory. So he's going to be helping you to grow and to, to really have an uplifted year. You're coming out of that holding pattern, okay? Hope that helps. Thanks for being here. Let me know. Blessings to you. Oh my gosh, guys. I just looked at the time. Well, we are at the part of our program where I do spirit shout outs. Now, for those of you who are new, spirit shout outs is something I started adding on to messages from the spirit world recently. And these are uh, messages that I receive from the spirit world. Sometimes I'll just see a name on my channel, and it's not even somebody writing for a reading. It's just like they might even just say, hi, Bob, just checking in, hi. But the spirit will suddenly come through and give me a message. So I just grab these as they pop through. I don't always understand them. I just have to deliver them. Okay. Uh, my first spirit shout out today is for Allison Six Costello. And... Allison, I heard a voice today tell me that the month of June is significant around you. It looks like this is a time for some money opportunities, maybe a new job offer or some type of financial blessing, but it looks like June's going to be important, particularly in long-term um, finance, financial opportunities and growth. So be open to maybe even 401k investments or stock investments or a new job that allows you to have a little more, but June is a turning point for you and it'll bring long-term blessings. Okay. Anyways, thanks for being on my channel. All right. My next spirit shout out is for Nigella for me. Hi, Nigella for me. Um, listen, hon, I have to tell you, your mom is talking to me again. You know, she sometimes just pops in. And this last few days, I keep hearing voices talking. And I'm like, I know this voice. And I realize it's your mom. She's been trying to get my attention. And she's asked me to tell you. She said, tell her. I guess she had to write it down so I didn't forget it. She said, tell her that her mother is here. And she says that she's, first of all, she said, tell her that I'm very proud of her. She also asked me to tell you, she said that she's working on 
bringing unity and healing to the family. And she said this summer, opportunities for family gathering or family healing occur. She also says to tell you to keep learning and studying. And she said that you're really picking up spiritual knowledge. She said to tell you, she said that she is opening to new truths in the spirit world. And I get the sense that, like, since she's gone over there, she's really kind of changed her perspective. I think she was actually a mystical person when she was there. I think she was spiritual. Uh, maybe not formally religious in the traditional sense, but she definitely had a connection to earth energies. And she said that in the spirit world, she, wrote, she said to me, she said, write it down. She said, tell her that I am opening to the truths of the evolving cosmos. So that's how she put it. Anyways, I had to bring it over to you. I hope it makes some sense. But she's with you and she's blessing you on your journey. Okay. Thanks for being here. All right. My next spirit shout out is for Amy Willis. Hello, Amy. Welcome to Spirit. I'm so glad you're here. Listen, Amy, I got to tell you, um, your name flashed up in front of me and I saw an image of you and you've got around you now a lot of silver and purple light. Um, they keep telling me somebody is talking to me. I've got like a few voices, but one of them says, tell her that July is the growth month. I also get another message here from another spirit guide. You've got a guy around you named Louis, or he speaks French. He says Louis, and he's from... Um, I believe he lived in France in the 1920s. And he's really a dandy. He showed me this really impeccable suit, like high style, uh, from 1920s, 1930s. You know, the stiff collar, the very fine silk tie, nicely dressed. And he said that he was connected to high style and fashion in his day. And he wants you to know that he's helping you put on your best face. He says, Amy will be meeting a lot of people this summer. And in July, there's a lot of opportunity for growth, and I'm pushing her out and making her shine. So Louis is one of your spirit guides, and he's helping you watch the month of July. Hope that makes some sense. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, listen, I just realized what time it is. Thank you for being here at Spirit Show. You guys are the best. <coughs> As you know, I met my moms. This week, we're going to do things a little different. Now, you know we normally have a very strict routine but while I'm here, things are going to be a little different. So we're going to be a little more creative and do a little different different routine this week. So bear with me if it's not the exact videos in the same order as we always do them. Tomorrow is Wiccan Wednesday. We're definitely going to have that. We'll talk about Wiccan stuff. So make sure to be here for that. But I'm so glad you guys are here. Listen, keep it here at Spirit Show. If you want to help me out, like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, hit subscribe be part of our channel. We'd love you to be here. <coughs> if you get a chance, pop her <coughs> Excuse me. I guy's just breathing a bug. <coughs> ah, bug just went in my head. <laughs> it's dangerous out here. If you get a chance, pop over to my website, look at my readings, and also check out my books. I'm a published author, and you can get my books over at my bookstore. You guys are best. I love you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your patience. And let us all be under the watchful gaze of the Great Mother. We'll see you back here tomorrow for Wiccan Wednesday. Until then, may you always, blessed be.